Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, sup? Um, I usually don't look like a foot. I am just not feeling putting on makeup today. So, I really don't care. Today I'm going to be finally doing the last part of my gear collection. Finishing this up, hopefully. Um, I might do, like, a video with, like, all the sets. Like, the ears that have matching tails. But, for now, this is what we're doing. Um, also, I apologize in advance if you can hear um, my heat kick on. I live in the Midwest. It's fucking cold. So I have a giant bin beside me. And we're just going to talk about all of my kitten ears today. So, I guess I'll start with the ones that are on my head. I'm probably not going to be having any on my head for most of this video. Um, so, these are my go-to ears. Um, these are from Atelier Creatura. I am 99% sure I'm finally saying that correctly. But I got these secondhand um, from someone who was selling off their entire collection. And I paid like $40 for these, $45. And it is the best $45 I've ever spent. These are my favorite ears, my favorite shape. I wear them literally all the time like if i don't know what ears i want to throw on with like an outfit these are the ones i put on um perfect shape these are my like staple ears like i love them so much next pair um if you watched my last video i bought a couple pairs of ears recently this is one of those pairs these are a uh, brown small the kitten collection getting interrupted small brown kitten collection kitten ears um i did not buy these directly from their shop i bought them secondhand and i think i paid around like what they used to retail for so like 40 bucks um super cute i love them they're super dainty and small and they match my hair i also bought these secondhand a lot of my ears are from depop or just people that were selling stuff. So some of these shops don't exist anymore. This being one of them. Uh, these are the Snow Kitten uh, IU Neko ears. And they don't exist anymore. But this is just like a marble pair. They're very similar to the Kitten Collection's shape. Um, I just bought these because I like the fur pattern. I have a thing for marble. Um, and you don't really see this kind of fur pattern super often. This is also a pair that was in my last video. These are from Kitten's Playpen, which also no longer exists. Um, and these are just like little like snow leopard kind of spotted kitten ears. I think they're like the small size because they seem small compared to like a pair that I previously owned. Um, but yeah. These were really inexpensive, and I'm glad I got them. They are super cute. These are an older pair of Hoshikin's ears. These are part of an extra large set with a tail that is ginormous. Um, I might put, like, the stock images from when it was released, like, up here. Um, or like I said, I might do, like, a video with all the tails and ears that match like the matching sets um if you want to see that i don't know it just seems kind of repetitive to me but if you want to see my tails i'll show you um so yeah i bought these second hand um i paid too much for them i'm not even gonna say it um it was definitely over what they retailed for but this was one of my dream sets because i'm a mint green whore um yeah this fur is different than the mint green fur that I think they use now um because I have a newer pair with different fur but yeah they're super fluffy and I love them so much I love the old Hoshikin shapes like this is so cute I love it these are from another shop that I think has closed down because everybody closes <laughs> so these are a pair from Creamy Mimi Cafe. I have a video of me when I uh, first unboxed these. I think I have that up on my channel. I can put it in the card up here somewhere. If you want to see me unbox them. Little baby me <laughs> unbox them. Um, they're just a little Neapolitan color scheme. 
super cute. They're one of my owner's favorite pairs. Just because he loves his color scheme. This is another pair of Hoshikin's ears. These also have a matching tail. And it's actually a relatively long tail, although I wouldn't consider it to be like one of the extra large sets because the tail doesn't drag on the ground. Um, but it's very long, probably down to my calves, maybe a little bit longer, and I'm five, six and a half, so pretty long. Um, these are like bigger cat ears, and they used to have like uh, AB crystals on them, but I replaced them with blue Swarovski ones because they were a lot bigger and more like tacky I guess so I like the look of these ones more. This pair is from Woodland Creature Shop and these are just dusty rose gold kitty ears. These also have a matching tail and they're very loose on the headband because they're very old um, but they don't slide around when I wear them so it's not that big of a deal to me but yeah these are probably from like 2015, 2016. Um, and they still look amazing, incredible. I love this fur so much. I have multiple pairs in this fur because I'm crazy. But the I have a matching tail from Hoshikin. Okay, let's see. These are also from Woodland Creature Shop. These are another pair of just like standard kitty ears. And they have navy blue shading. And they're just this like, I don't know if modeled is the right word, but like, multicolored like brown ears and when i had blonde highlights in my hair these were my go-to they looked like they sprouted out of my head and i love them so much navy blue is one of my favorite colors um so just the fact that these are like perfect for my hair with navy blue oh shit bro oh my gosh so this pair is one of my first pairs of ears like legitimate ears. These are from Little Lichen, a shop that no longer exists. Um, and they did not come on this headband. I put them on this headband because the Little Lichen headbands were really tight and would give me migraines. Um, <laughs> so I put them on this silver headband like a couple years back and they're just black. I think they were standard kitten ears at the time. Oh my gosh. Obviously, I, I, I'm keeping them because they're one of my, like, first legitimate pairs. I don't have the other ones anymore, but I do have this one. My first actual high-quality pair of ears. A little, little blue piercing with a heart charm. Wow, that's a throwback. These are a pair. I also got semi-recently. I think it was last October. Do I want to say it was last October? That was a long time ago. Anyways, don't know when I got these, but it was this year or last year. <laughs> these are an older pair of Hoshikins. I don't know if these are technically kitten ears, but I use them as more like big cat ears rather than like puppy ears, uh, cause that's just what they give off in my opinion. But like, are you kidding me? When these popped up, I was like, um, no, there's no way I am not getting those because they are perfect for me. And then the back, are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? Yeah, um, God, I'm just so, I love these so much. Um, I was going to say they're one of my most like intricate pairs, but I actually do have a pair that is up in a separate storage box right now that I'm not going to bring down, but if you know what I'm talking about, you I'll put a picture here. Um, they are my auction AC ears and I get them out for special occasions. I don't keep them with the rest of my ears because they're just very, very intricate, um, but yeah. So if you don't see those in that video, in this video, that's why. Um, I still have them. This, this pair. These are technically fox ears, but I use them as kitten ears because I'm not a fox. Um, so these are another pair of AC Atelier Creatura ears. These are older. Um, these have been on a journey, let me tell you. I 
bought these no 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 i don't think i bought them i think i traded for them and then traded them away and then somehow got them back so yeah they're staying with me um they are a, a little bit rougher condition than when i first had them but they're not going anywhere um these are my babies i this is another one of my favorite colors i am so happy that I have them. I wore them in a Christmas set last year and yeah, they're just, they're still really beautiful and I love them very much. They're my little babies. These are from Pony Koi. Um, they are just little mint green and toasty brown kitten ears. Um, like I said before, I am a mint green whore and I have so many pairs of mint green ears. It's insane. I could do like a video, like a separate video of just mint green ears. That's how many I have. I have a problem. I really need to brush some of these. They're they're coming out of storage, so you gotta you gotta excuse their appearance, okay? They haven't had time to brush their hair. Um, these are baby, baby, baby ears. These are a little like in micro uh cat ears, I think, because I think they make they made some smaller ones that were kitten ears but these are like tiny baby kitty ears like i could wear these out in public and nobody would even think i'm wearing ears um because it just looks like little tiny things on my head so yeah that that's why i got those these were like 15 dollars on depop great purchase these are a more recent pair of hoshikin's ears these are from the feline pre-orders i think these were yeah these are 2019 um, I was writing an essay when I got these. Don't ask me how I remember that. I don't know. I just got mint green ones with some little mint green freckles. Focus, please. And then the crystals are like A, B, kind of. It's like they're like a green tinted A, B crystal. Very pretty. And then the back just looks like this. Super soft. I love this fur. I have a tail that matches these and the same fur. These are really, it's really cool that I own these. Um, these are really, really old Atelier Creature ears, AC ears. Tell me these aren't the cutest things you've ever seen. Are you kidding me? I need to do like a classic just like black and white like kitty set with these because they need to be showcased. They are like the cutest little shape ever. I kind of wish you would bring like simple like something like this back as like a cheaper option like a little simple old throwback pair because these are amazing construction um, because before I owned these I had couple pairs directly from her that were newer in a different style these are still so incredible and when she was making these i think she was only charging like 40 or 50 dollars i'm like look at that i got them for i don't even know i think it was less than 20 dollars and i was sitting there shook oh i forgot to mention there's also a couple pairs that i don't keep with the rest of my ears because they're like on clips and they just clip on my head and I also just don't wear them as much because they're not the style that I tend to gravitate towards um but they are designs by Aelin ears and I have I think I have two pairs of those one that is on like little clips that I kind of always said would be like my collar and ears because they're white and they yeah, wedding ears kind of thing. Um, and then I have another pair that's gray and they're actually on like a headband. But like I said, I don't really wear them. I just, they're just put away. All right. Oh my gosh, what is this shop called? They don't exist either. <sighs> this pair. Um, I don't, I don't know what this shop is called. Taco Bell Creations, that's what I want to say it is. Um, I got these on depop of course and they match my fur son they match michael his his little peachy fur this these ears are the closest thing i've ever found to matching his ear color and they make me so happy i match my child are you <laughs> woodland creature shop 
These are sunset ears. I, 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 yeah. We just need a minute for them. Look at them. Oh my gosh. The coloring on these is insane. Especially if you think about the fact that these are from like a long, long time ago. Like at least like 2016, maybe earlier. These are old woodland creature shop ears, but look at how stunning they are. Look at how perfect the condition is. Are you kidding? I am just so lucky that I'm able to own these. Or I just... Another pair of woodland creature shop ears. These are mismatched. They have one side that's black and the other side that's like a gray with like black tips. Um, and then the front, they have little mismatched freckles on each side. I love these so much. If I want something that's like slightly different from just like the all black cat ear that I usually go for, these are a great option for that. I love them. Little goth cat girl action right here. Oh my gosh, I wish you guys could see like the stack of ears that's like accumulating over here. These are a pair of little lichen Fox kit ears, they are black on the back and then the front is this really long uh, mint green fur. I think it's the same fur that like my older mint green Hoshikins ears have because it's super like flowy. Um, so, funny story about these too. I got them directly from Little Lichen, sold them like an idiot, um, and then bought them back. And now we're here. This is also a pair of little lichen ears, and they're just little purple ones. I got these because I wanted to do kind of like an Espeon cosplay. I used to own a really fucking, like, sexy ass Espeon set. Like, literally, it was Espeon. It was, it was the tail and everything don't anymore not much to say about these i was really kind of pissed when these came in um because they have a is that where the mark is i can't tell they have like a spot somewhere it's like a good stain on them and also they were shipped through media mail so be careful on depop please you don't ship ears through media mail what do you mean this is one of my other favorite pairs of ears like not just like favorite but like easy to wear to throw on what I will reach for just in my like top like five I guess I don't really have that set in my brain but there's just some that I gravitate towards when I need to throw some on um so these are another pair of little lichen fox kit ears don't know if I said that about the last pair those are also fox kit I have a lot of them um they're just kind of like baby kitty ears um this is one of my favorite pairs it has a little a little cross charm and then it's got an industrial piercing the piercings on little lichen ears were top notch. You can't tell me shit. They are so good. So yeah, these are just black on the back. I love the peach shading. Peach shading is like a weakness for me. And these are just so small and precious and have like the little, the little gothy piercings that I like. These are kitten collection ears. They're my only like white pair because I am a gremlin and I cannot own white shirts, white pants, white. I don't, I wear my white Converse, but those are already dirty. And before they got dirty, it was like so stressful wearing those out of the house, let me tell you. They're medium kitten collection kitten ears. These were from a long time ago, back when you had to literally stock their Etsy page to even get ears. Um, now I think it's a little bit, they just kind of like randomly release ears. They don't have like a set time. You know, they'll just post once they have ears in the shop. This was when they would make release announcements and be like, this is when we're dropping all of these ears. Try your best. <laughs> yeah, these are super incredibly soft. And yeah, they have definitely stayed with me for a while. I really like them. These are micro like baby kitten ears from Furry Fairy Shop. These are small dainty little babies. Um, and they're just... I like to use them as like strawberry kitten ears because they look kind of like strawberry color scheme to me. They have little like red Swarovski crystals on the tip. I don't know. There. 
you can kind of see it. And then sticking with that same color scheme, I also have this awesome pair of Hoshikins ears. These are like old, they're like way older Hoshikins. Um, back when she would still take like custom orders on Etsy, that's what this is giving, like that era. Um, but they have little hearts in the trimming. And then on the back, they're like these like tiger stripes. Dude, when I saw these pop up at Depop and they were like, these were like $30 or even less. I was like, no, these are coming home with me. This is the cutest color scheme ever. I'm a sucker for like Valentine's Day and just like hearts and pink in general. That's one of my favorite holidays just because all the like cute little decor that comes out. Um, I'm a big Valentine's Day girl and Halloween girl. Okay, so these are black uh, Scream Kiwi ears from Kitten Sightings. These are the ones that have, I don't know if you can even see that. They have like the trim. Can you even, am I just blind or can you not see that? Yeah, I don't know how I ended up with these honestly, but I'm very happy to have them because um, Kiwi was like a big, and still is like a big influence in like my appearance and like how I present myself. They were the person who basically introduced me to a lot of body mods. So next, next pair. These are a pair of Hoshikin's ears. They are just these little baby ones. They have gray on the back and then they have like a baby blue in the front. Um, I think these are petites. I'm really not sure. Like the... <laughs> I know the shapes are all different now, but this, they were called petites back in the day. Um, this is another one of my favorite color schemes, just like the baby blue with like a lighter gray. So good. These are Nightmare Before Christmas Moruhiku ears. Moruhiku Hiko. I think I also have an unboxing video that I did for these too. Uh, these are just very sturdy, high quality ears. I love the little designs in them. They are so cute. Um, they actually make some like insane ears now. Like, I can't even describe them. They are just so intricate and so unique. I, it's wild. Um, just even in like the few years that have passed since they kind of popped up, it's insane. Oh my gosh, another shop that no longer exists. And my camera's getting really hot. Um, these are from Kittens and Honey or Witchy Kitty Shop. Actually, she might still exist, but like, it's been a while since I've seen anything from her, so I don't know. But these are back from back when she was Kittens and Honey. They're just mint green kitten ears. Like I said, and I will keep saying, mint green whore. Oh my gosh, my eyes are burning from this ring light. Why? Maybe that's why I have so many floaties. So these are Woodland Creature Shop uh, Galaxy like purple fox ears. Um, these don't really fit my puppy like persona, I guess, or just like how I would view myself as a puppy. So these go with my kitten gear because they're kind of just like taller, like kitty ears for me. Um, these are super cool. I really like the night sky ears that Woodland Creature does. So I'm glad I can own a pair. And the purple is very unique. I don't have a lot of purple ears. I'm just realizing how many looks I should do with the ears that I have because I have so many. And that's like hundreds of concepts, just easy. Um, so these are another pair of Punikoi ears. These I bought when they were going out of business or just like stopping the ear making um so i got these discounted and they're just these navy blue kitten ears really like the shape something about these ones they don't sit the same on my head as like the mint green ones do which is like the whole reason why i bought them right because this shape is like my favorite i feel like they're too fluffy almost um i still really like them but like, I don't feel like they suit my head as much as the mint green ones. Um, I've had these for sale on my Depop, but like, they're like they're obviously still for sale because I have them. Um, but 
I'm not too worried about it. I will keep them and do a look with them if they don't sell. Um, I just, I like having like a variety so I can like pull out something that perfectly matches an outfit. It, it's just, all of the hard work of my collection definitely helps with like fashion things. So these are another pair from Creamy Mimi Cafe. Um, I don't actually think I have an unboxing video of these. Don't know why, but um, yeah, they're just another minty and like toasty brown pair. Um, they have a little paw charm and then they have some little crystals on them. The backs are white, which kind of like freaked me out when I first got them because I was under the impression that the backs were gonna be mint green. Um, don't really mind it though. They're very unique and definitely not something that I have already. So, it's very cool and I can wear them with my white tail and it's a sleigh. These are another pair of Atelier Creature Ears. These are pre-orders from I don't know how long ago. Pre-orders from when everybody was getting these. Like the first initial round. Um, so, I have these that I bought directly from her and then... I also have the like peachy pink pair um because I know there were three options I have two out of the three options I have these two that are the same um obviously I reach for these more but I really like the look of the black with like the blue in the front I think it's very unique and like wintry um but yeah these are like just like standard staple like kitten ears for me because I love like the the black with the peach shading and I think the freckles are really cute I just I love these a lot um it's just kind of crazy to me that I'm holding like $400 in my hands right now um just because like now as an adult I am just kind of like that is groceries for a month um okay um, like I said, when I bought a lot of these, I was young and just stupid with money. Um, not to say that they're not worth the price that they were. I think they're beautiful and they're very well crafted. And obviously, shops deserve to make a living off of what they make. And ears are very much not a necessity. I'm just saying now, as an adult with actual bills and a house and stuff to take care of, that's a lot of money. Um, so... Uh, I also have this old pair from AC and these were once uh, Lynx ears and I trimmed the tips off. It's fine because I kept them so um, yeah. These were very special to me at the time because they were a gift from my partner at the time but now I'm reclaiming them as just cute ears it's been enough time that i can wear them again and it's not weird um so yeah these are just little what are they called a b this is the aurora borealis ears at the time this was like so insanely innovative and like the coloring was everything and people would fight over them i do have a matching tail from what is what is their shop called akami creations um, it's just like a black tail with a B, um, like a, like a teal tip at the bottom with the same airbrushing. It's very gorgeous. These are from Cedar Fox Studio, Cedar Fox Shop. Don't think they make ears anymore either. <laughs> um, I bought these as a birthday gift for myself for my 19th birthday, I think. Um, so yeah, I got these right before I met my husband. That's so weird to say. <laughs> um, yeah, because I remember sending him a picture of this set and being like, I got this for myself for my birthday, it's so cute. Um, so this also has a matching tail. It's like a tiny lynx tail, so it's like really short. I, I love this set so much. I wanted something different with the Lynx tips and it's marble. Make anything marble and I 
am a simp for it. I will buy it. Um, uh, okay, so I think this is the last pair, hopefully. Um, watch me discover like five pairs that are scattered around my house. <laughs> We're just looking to talk about it. Um, these are a pair from Little Lichen that I got secondhand, and I really like the coloring of them. I tend to like the like teal color in certain ears, so I think that's what drew me to these. These are also the Fox. Wow. Okay, so I am pretty sure that is all of my kitten ears. We are a Bebe's house. No conk here. I think that is it for my kitten ears and my entire gear collection. Um, at least for the moment. I haven't been adding a lot to it just because I have other things that are on my mind and also I just have so many ears and ears are so expensive nowadays that I'm just like, mm, I don't think so. Um, so yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, why am I saying this so weird? Also, a while ago when I was like in my analytics, I noticed that like over 50 people have my bell notifications on. And I'm just like, me? Me? Thank you. But like, what? <laughs> um, so if you want to turn on my bell, notifications um <laughs> but yeah uh thanks so much for watching i love you i will see you in my next video bye